Hey guys, this is Nikki with uh, Techie Zeddy, and it's been a while since I've done a cassette related video or even um, like computer sided with like Audacity. I remember somebody asking about uh, using Audacity to calibrate a cassette deck. So let me show you how I do it with, um, for example, a cassette deck like the JVC TD. V531 uh, that doesn't have a built-in tone generator. Um, this also helps with my uh, Nakamichi ZX7, which does have a tone generator, um, but it has a separate left and right level um, adjustments, which makes it hard to balance sometimes because the dials aren't exactly always perfectly in sync with each other. The concept is simple. Um, you download and you install Audacity uh, from audacityteam.org. It's freeware. Uh, you, can, it's, you can use it for the Windows, Mac, and Linux. This is a great tool, by the way, and one day I'll probably go through all of them. But uh, just to, for a quickie video, uh, I wanted to show you how I can generate white noise uh, to calibrate the balance as well as the bias as, and level as well. Some decks have a level adjustments, but the JVC that I am going to demonstrate does not. So uh, on the computer side, uh, you install Audacity and you run it, uh, and then you just generate noise and I typically like to do uh, white noise but you also have pink and brownian. Uh, amplitude by default it's 0 0.8 uh, which is kind of like 0.8 or 80 uh, percent basically of the full amplitude. One is the full 100 percent and of course I usually do 15 minutes. Uh, I know that by default it's like 30 seconds. This way it'll give me some time to, pl uh, to play through the entire thing without having to restart it over and over again. So all I gotta do is hit OK and it generates a mono track that is just white noise. As, I, as you guys can see, that uh, it actually goes all the way to 0 dB because it's at 100%. If you would have just eight point, uh, used the default 0 0.8, it would have ended up a lot less than that. And it's important to do the full level at, at 0 dB is that it's easier to calibrate uh, your deck because every deck has a 0 dB point on their uh, VU meter. Now that we have this track, you just connect your computer's li uh, line out or headphone out or whatever you need to do to your, your audio deck. I would also surmise that you should set up your uh, output for your deck to make sure your volume is at 100%. And if your audio solution on your computer allows for over amplification, turn it off. We want 100% because again, this is at zero dB. We want to make sure that the output is still at zero dB the entire time that we are outputting it to the deck. So that's pretty much it. So let me show you the volume slider I was talking about. There you go. And Audacity is at 100, of course, and your actual volume depending on what you want to output to, needs to be at 100. Of course, right now I'm using the headset, but in reality, you'll probably do something like the line out. In my case, it's considered a speaker and you have to make sure it's at 100, 100%. Okay. Once you do that, we go over to the cassette side and let's go ahead and show you how that's done. Oh, by the way, one more thing I forgot to do here is make sure that your out outputs here are also set correctly on Audacity. But make sure that you're outputting this to the correct output. So in our case, I'm going to use the speaker uh, high definition audio. That's my line out, analog line out from my sound card to the cassette deck. All right, guys. So here's the deck I was talking about, uh, the JVC TD 531. It um, 
doesn't have a balance uh, input level, but um, what I was talking about is sort of something like this, where I have a um, Nakamichi ZX7, where the left and right, you know, knobs are actually separated, and it's really tough to get it, you know, perfectly, you know, together. And, you know, it's not always the same either. Like, for example, so even if I centered this completely together and I put in a mono input, it may not match. So I still have to fiddle with this just slightly just to make that match. And sometimes it might vary with tapes too, depending on their quality. So, um, anyways, back to this. I got the input from my computer. It's over there, really close, connected to the line in of the cassette deck here on my JVC. So right now you can see it's monitoring, uh, let's see if it can focus. It will not focus, but anyways, that's the tape. The green light monitor says tape. If I hit that, that's now going to monitor. Let me see if I get closer. Gee, thanks. By the way, I'm using a Google Pixel 6 Pro. So if the video doesn't turn out well, then it's a testament to the video camera, but all of the photos look great on these things, but video's still not that great. So I apologize for the video, I'm trying to focus. But anyways, this is the source, and that is the tape. So let me go ahead and hit play on the Audacity which I just did, and now it's outputting that white noise I was talking about at 100%. As you can see, that should be 0 dB. Right now it shows nothing because it's on tape, and I'm going to hit the monitor. And as you can see, we're only at, um, we only seem to be at um, 6 dB here for some reason. And, um, you know, I can go higher, but like I said, that input should be more like zero. So you can see even here, it's not a hundred percent balanced, but it's close enough. That's where I would calibrate it at. Now, with that in mind, now I'm going to go ahead and record, by the way, I'm using, um, oh. I'm using a uh, Maxell XL2 100. There you go, now it's recording. And it's at a, um, well, I don't have to do much actually because the level here is doing pretty good. I can raise it up a little bit. But as you can see, if I was if this was the ZX7, I can also adjust the left and right, but I don't have that ability here. This bal oh wait, maybe I do. Is this the balance? No, this is just for the headphones, it looks like. <laughs> Never mind. Um but then of course to do the bias. Now this one I cannot demonstrate off on the on the phone or on my computer just yet. It needs a more elaborate setup so you can capture the sound uh, coming from the headphone jack or the output of the back um, with the original white noise. But essentially, since I'm recording the white noise now, we know the balance is right. We know the uh, sound level is right because now I can monitor both tape and source. They don't change. So that's good right there. But now to adjust the bias, you actually have to plug your headphones in and then listen for the quality of that uh, white noise and make sure that it sounds the same as you switch between uh, the source and the tape, okay? And that's all you're really doing. And right now there's some inconsistency on that tape. It's, just, it's a used tape, so maybe that's why. Uh, even with some brand new tapes, um, you might have some inconsistencies. So, again, I wish I could 
balance between the two. So it's not perfect, but it's close enough for most people. And um, yeah, and that's how you really calibrate uh, a deck like this if you don't have a, t a built in tone generator like some of the more, uh, like the Nakamichi has it right there. You know, it's just got a bunch of features. And of course, this JVC here that I also have, which is the TD V661. Um, this also doesn't have, oh well, this one does have the balance here. Uh, but I'm not sure if that, if that should work or not. Because for some reason, the balance here is not working. Or maybe it just needs to deox it. Never mind. Actually, that should work. So, now that this is the source, let's go back to the tape. Does that work? Okay, so it does work. Never mind. My fault. <laughs> okay, so I would uh, then use this to balance, balance this out so that the signal is the same. Like right there. I'll just sit down just to see if I'm just missing anything. You know, sometimes the balance is a little off. So here's to the left, here's to the right. It's ways off, really. That's interesting. So you go back to the monitor. It's more fine-tuning, it seems, more than anything. So maybe this is more of a fine-tune. But you get the idea. Um, since it's a mono, it should be balanced. Balance out your control. Sometimes with the deck that's really off, or maybe it needs deoxid. I don't know why mine is this crazy, but it shouldn't be. Uh, sometimes it's off just by a little, not by that much. Um, with like the ZX, it's not that bad at all. <laughs> this is, maybe it still needs to be serviced. This is one of the decks that gave me so much trouble. Um, but yeah, that's how I do it. Just uh, send in some white noise and use the headphones uh, to listen between and switch between these two and listen for the sound quality just to see if, you know, the changes. Um, and then if it's too much bass, you know, you turn one way or the other, just to adjust that. Or if it's too much trouble, you adjust it out using the bias. So that's mostly the same. And that's pretty much it. Take care and bye.